with another LV price increase coming up. So which LV bags are worth it nowadays? Which is worth investing now more than ever? Hello everyone, welcome back to another mommy review where I review all things for the love of. Today I want to talk about Louis Vuitton and what is worth investing at this point with another impending LV price increase coming up. What is on the top of the list? And before I go into the video, if you like the content on this channel, please consider subscribing or giving this video a thumbs up, it will really mean a lot. And for those of you who are joining me again for another handbag lover's journey, thank you so much for continuing to follow the channel. So on with the video. So as everybody knows, there's typically like price increases every year, Louis Vuitton, on average, I would say maybe like seven to eight months is the trend that we're seeing. I would say last year in October, 2021, the, that, with that price increase you saw between like 5 to 21 percent increase in typical like louis vuitton handbag items and i just get so sad when i see it um i feel like it's not there aren't as many entry level items for you to consider buying which louis vuitton used to have at least one or two items that is like more affordable but when it comes to designer handbags, there's no denying that like Louis Vuitton handbags are among like the one of the most coveted items. Um, that I guess also includes like Chanel and Hermes. I mean, with the long history with luggage company of Louis Vuitton being there since like 1854, it's like it has this instantly recognizable kind of luxury brand style and also like the pattern that you see in the canva and overall in the second hand market you do see that you can sometimes score a bargain or even like the bags do retain value over time every year lv does come up with a lot of different designs every season so there's bound to be something for everyone so for today i want to talk about my top 10 louis vuitton bags that one should still consider investing at this point and that might still be worth it uh, so let's get on with the list so here you can see on the website even uh pochette matisse the east west is like three thousand seven hundred dollars for a canva bag or the loop bag that came out more recently it's around three thousand dollars but canva bags are not cheap by any means another full you can see here is around mm is two thousand five hundred eighty dollars and i can remember that bag being less than two thousand dollars canadian back in the day so definitely seeing a general increase now on my top 10 list of course this is solely my opinion i would love to hear from you if you have suggestions for other bags that you feel like is still worth it there are going to be a couple that you will find that are kind of like you would know that it's always been on this list and will always be it's a classic that will attest it to time for years to come so I'm going to go with the ones that are pretty obvious. And the first one is the Speedy. Now, it's particularly the Speedy 30. I feel like for some years now, like the Demir version has been like one of the most wanted ones. But uh, you can see at this moment that you can actually place it in your cart. Uh, I think it's one of the bags that are one of those go-to favorites if you love Louis Vuitton. And it doesn't have a shoulder strap for this particular speedy 30 they do have the speedy bandolier that has the strap available but i feel like these are one of the the speedy is one of the bags that looks really great when it's like held in your arm and just in your hand it is the first louis vuitton piece that was designed to be a handbag so i feel like that history that goes with the brand makes this bag such a great investment I guess most women do probably benefit from having a strap available. So you can see there's one like the Speedy Vanillier 25, that's 2840 or this one in leather. Um, I think the 25 actually is quite a good size, 3450 and this is for a full leather bag. I think being hands-free is great having a strap, but like the design of this bag just looks so great when it's handheld. Um, at least in my opinion. It does come in lot sizes, which you will see. There is the Nano, the Speedy 20, 25, and 30, and the 35. And I think this is for sure a classic bag that will continue to at least retain its average value um, over time and still worth it at this stage. 
the Nano has been one that I've been eyeing and it's just so darn cute. Um, so this one's currently $2,240. The second one on my list is the Alma BB. In particular, I love the Neo Alma BB. Uh, it's named after the famous Alma Bridge in Paris. A Louis Vuitton Alma was designed by the founder's grandson, Gaston Louis Vuitton, 1930. It's like this dome-like structure with rolled leather handles, has option for a strap. So I feel like it really stands out. Um, you know it's a Louis Vuitton bag. It's priced at $3,200. It does come in the Demir Ebon design Canva for $2,240. And then, yeah, so I feel like the Alma BB, the Neo one in particular, I think is such a good buy at this time. So versatile, multiple straps, or sorry, having the option for the strap and also having it as a top handle is just such a great option so that's my number two must buy if you're still interested in investing in louis vuitton bag right now number three on the list is the felice pochette it is such a minimalistic bag i think that the bag technically is more of a small other good maybe but like i think it's a great addition to the wardrobe this one in the monogram is 1890 dollars but it does come in leather version like this one is 2240 dollars the great thing is it does come with these additional inserts inside which is total bonus for you to kind of easily transfer things back and forth between different bags you can remove the strap and remove the chain and make it like uh, just a wallet that you can bring around or you can make uh, attach a shorter strap as a wristlet just feel like it's just bottom line so versatile great like air and running bags and of course um it could probably easily transition to an evening bag or special occasion bag and just dressed up obviously it's not a big bag so if you tend on carrying a lot this is not the bag for you um, but if you only need your keys your phone your card i feel like the fleece Pochette is such a great choice. So that is my number three option if you're interested in investing in a Louis Vuitton bag at this time before the price increase. Now that I've gone over my top three on the list for undoubtedly items from Louis Vuitton that is still worth purchasing at this time, I'm gonna go over some more unpopular opinion of the remaining items that I think is still worth it and solely my opinion. I'd love to hear from you if you think there are others on the list. Okay, so number four, it is the Easy Pouch on Strap. It's currently priced at $2,070. It comes with both the chain strap and also a separate leather strap. So I love how versatile it is. Have very classic silhouette. This one is in full leather. Fits your phone, some of your essentials, or most of your essentials. And it comes in multiple colors. And for $2,000, including this cream color, that's also very beautiful. Um, for $2,000, I think it's a really good entry-level item that's still attainable within Louis Vuitton. If you want to learn more about this bag, I have a separate full video on my assessment and my review of the Easy Pouch on Strav. And this came out, I think, in earlier this year, in 2022. So that's number four. Number five. Number five is from the Lock Me Tender series. Now, I'm just going to put the lock me tender uh, lock me series as a whole collection on its own i feel like is a little bit underrated i feel like the, um, the designs are generally quite classic this one is the lock me tender it is a full leather bag with a chain and strap for three thousand four hundred fifty dollars i feel like it looks very classy and very much like louis vuitton very recognizable i would say it uh, comes in multiple colors these are the more seasonal ones and I think that like this one in the course is just so beautiful for winter and also summer for $3,450 and this is in full calf feather. It looks pretty roomy inside as well. So that's part of the Lock Me but the other one is the Lock Me Pouchette of the Lock Me Tender um, bag from previous is a little bit out of your range. This Pouchette is $2,500. And it has this adjustable chain that you can have as a shoulder and also a crossbody, whatever kind of suits your need. It's a little bit smaller. 
and it is also in full leather and it can comes in this kind of rose quartz combination as well but this pouchette i feel like nowadays we're not carrying as much out um, and about and it's a really good catch-all also from the lock me series is my lock me chain pouchette so this one's Again, if the last two were a little bit out of your range, this is such an affordable alternative. It's 2330 The chain strap is detachable. So you can see here, it's detachable. It doesn't give you the option that you can adjust from shoulder to crossbody. But I don't know if that's necessarily a bad thing. You can just change up the chain, which is a great option, whereas the previous one, you can really take out the chain this one you can change it to leather strap whatnot very roomy has a back slip pocket and this classic louis vuitton logo in the front but not like super in your face i still find it really minimalistic and for 2330 dollars for a full leather bag i think it's just stunning look at how beautiful this one is this one is in this kind of a baby blue color it's just so beautiful so anyways, that is it for the Lock Me collection that I mentioned about. The next one I talk about is the Mochi Pochette Accessoire. I feel like this was a big hit a couple years ago and now the fad has now faded. I still think it's a good alternative if you're looking for something that is catch-all. It comes in um, these multiple bags that you can separate like this coin purse here and then comes with two different straps feel like it's a good kind of starter item and is so versatile so i feel for three thousand two hundred fifty dollars it is still worth it i don't know if i'll necessarily get the monogram but i do find the noir beige version for le full leather for three thousand eight hundred dollars which technically comes like two bags two full bags almost it's definitely worth considering yeah okay moving on to the next one it is the kirigami pochette i feel like this is such an underrated bag um definitely with the next price increase it's gonna go over the one thousand dollar mark but it's like a three in one i know that there are options that you can purchase uh, like dress up my purse to put in an insert and make the larger one into like a bag or a wristlet but so many options to play with it, it could be a card holder or carry your passport when you're on the go i feel like this is a great catch-all to start this one is the limited color um edition with like different if you want something a little bit more I guess not typical all the monograms something more fun this will be another option number eight it's the lock me ever bb i put this separately because i feel like it's like a much larger full leather bag than the, some of the pouch i showed before for four thousand four hundred dollar for a full bag i love the silhouette of the bag it just looks so classy with the top handle available with the classic louis vuitton that's not too in your face and has an optional strap available the bag does open up quite a bit for a lot of good capacity for you to carry all and this is the lock me ever bb and i feel like it is so underrated but this beautiful beauty i think is definitely on the top of my wish list this came out in just fall 2019 um we'll see i'm sure it's gonna maybe get over the 5,000 mark very soon number nine is the new wave change bag this one is the rose ballerine um, color in three thousand eight hundred dollars is a full bag not just like a pouch hat definitely can carry a little bit more than just your essential i love how there is the chain available it looks very classy along with the lv logo and then has a bit of leather on the strap to make the chain a little bit more comfortable to wear it does come in multiple toots of color the one i was kind of eyeing was this arizona one that's currently unavailable but i feel like this kind of tan hazelnut um is more great for autumn and winter 
so i can totally understand why this is currently out of stock but you can see the chain easily can be adjusted to be a shoulder and also a crossbody so great for people who love being hands-free number 10 number 10 is the twist belt chain pouch you know that the twist bag like twist collection is not gonna go out of stock anytime soon seeing that they have just done so much promotion whenever you go by a louis vuitton store you see it like out on display so you know it's gonna be a popular bag that's gonna be out and about for a while today i want to show you specifically this one because i feel like the the twist bags in general are quite pricey and this is something that is a little bit more attainable and i feel like over time people are going to carry less when they go out i feel like the strap is detachable with a d-ring there and you can play around with a longer strap shorter strap i love the epi leather so it's more scratch free or not scratch proof i guess and more hands-free it looks very elegant with the lv i love the twist lock so I feel like $2,500 is a great, great, great option. And this is like called a belt chain pouch. Great for just all the essential. It looks very modern, very sleek. Can easily include the smartphone and can be secure. So the last one, I know I said there's only top 10. I have one bonus one I want to mention. And this is more a personal favorite of mine. And that's the Petite Sac Plat that I've been eyeing. It's currently $2,240 for this monogram version. But I'm in love, in love with this monogram um, Emperor Leather one. Um, I'm going to look a little bit further in this, maybe into a Celine option. If you're interested, please let me know in the comments below if this is a bag on your wish list. So this is a bonus one I'm considering um, on my top 10 list for LV bags that are still worth buying at this point and still worth investing. What do you guys think about the top 10 that I have provided for LV bags that are still worth buying before the next LV price increase? I would love to know if you are other bags you would think should have made the list i think there are bags like the neverfull that is so classic but for me i feel like you can see it in the second hand market i don't think it retained value as well um compared to some of the other bags i probably wouldn't get a neverfull brand new at um, the lv store because there's just so many options available second hand i was debating about the noel as no way as well um it was just not uh, something i just find that totes are just so readily available in so many brands that i did not have to stick with louis vuitton and invest in one there so that's the reason behind it so hope you enjoyed this video do you have a loot any of these louis vuitton bags which one do you find you wear the most i'd love to hear from you until next time i'll see you in another mommy video take care and stay safe everyone bye for now